Hey guys, out here with another, another some gameplay. This time we're gonna do a little bit different. It's a little, little more contemporary than what the games we normally play, but uh, we're gonna try some Mario Kart. Only this time we're gonna play the Wii or the sorry the GameCube version. It's called Mario Kart Double Dash. So my brother, my brother here is gonna play with me. We're gonna do two players here. Uh, he's never played this game before. I was not a big fan of the GameCube, so uh, I'm going to try to keep my sour opinions about the GameCube to a minimum. Yeah. <laughs> well, I never had a GameCube once it was out, but I actually like it now that I've got one, so... But it came out around the time, uh... Go ahead, sorry. All right. uh, they had just uh, come off the 64. All right. Uh, they had went from cartridges officially to discs, and not only were they... Uh, Switching to discs finally. We're gonna do two players. We're not, we're gonna do two players to, uh, versus, versus each other. Yeah. Where the discs was probably the size of a. We're gonna start with something pretty simple. Yeah, they were they were they were smaller discs. All right, so. All right, I'm player one. You, so you pick two different players. You pick your main guy and your backseat driver. So I'm gonna pick Luigi, with Wall Luigi. And uh, it's uh, this one yeah. to uh, select. Toad. You pick Yoshi. Yoshi, I mean, and where they don't have a toad on here. Nope. They got rid of it in lieu of uh, looks like a what do you call it? Uh, turtle. Big baby, we, baby Luigi. All right. So you say okay? Oh yeah, we we, we could have picked our cart. So it's kind of like Mario Wii U. So we're we're gonna start we're gonna start simple. Like I don't want to I don't want to overwhelm him. Uh. Go backwards. That's this one to run, and then Z is this one. So we got it set up a little bit differently. Just wanted to let him know which one's which. I'm on top here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the looks of it is actually pretty decent. Right. Uh, but uh... no, I I like this. I like this version a lot. Um, I've only played a couple of times. Like I said, this when, when this came out in 2003, and then. Um, this this trigger right here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm trying to see if I can give you the. There we go. Okay. So. Uh, I see that. You okay. Try to see if, yeah where you can get all the different ones to switch around. So you can switch this and this one. You you can switch back and forth between guys. One guy can hold uh, their own stuff. And then I'm gonna be Luigi, and I'm gonna shoot this whatever this orange thing is at somebody. Oh man! So no, I really I like this version. In fact, they use this this version to make an arcade game, which in the arcade version, uh, which you can also play uh, emulated, which I have been unsuccessful to do. But you, somebody can do it out there. I just haven't been able to do it. Sure, if I messed around. So you're in first place. Look at yeah, this, I'm first time ever playing. Yeah, no Mario Kart newbie. Right, that's true. I guess that's that's a very good point. But, uh, like I said, visually it doesn't look bad, uh, even in the days of Mario Eight, Mario Super Mario Kart Eight. Right. Well, I I, I do have some stuff. Uh, but. Uh, I do have some stuff a little, a little upgraded here, but yeah, no, it's definitely not. It's definitely not a sloucher in as far as the the looks of the game. I finally hit something. Second place, coming up. Watch out first. All this stuff. Okay. Oh man, I'm really pushing it. There we go. All right. Uh oh, look at you. Are you too close or too far away? Yep. Man, oh man. First place. Shoot, whatever that was. Oh, look at that. There you go. I'll take second place, but man, you... Six Game seconds. Cube, though, I will say this about them, is really the time they started pushing the Luigi, La Luigi and Wario. Yep, this is where... Well, Wario came out in... Uh, Game the Game Boy... Boy the Advance? Game... No, just the Game the Boy Game era. Boy, yeah, yeah Mario... Did. Super Mario... World 2 or something like that on the Game Boy. Um, so let's just 
We'll go into the next race. Right. Well, Luigi, I think, came on the GameCube, though. Yeah, yeah. It was around that time. I think it was... Uh, next course here. Around uh, Mario Party and all that. Yep. I think Mario started, Mario we, Tennis... We, we and need to start bu uh, buffing up the uh, roster so we get to uh, play out these games. Right. There's definitely more people to choose from. Oh, uh, no, I, I jumped. Yeah, me too. Jumped off of here, but I mean, I don't know. I, I personally, like I said, I was. Let's see when this game came out. It's 2003. Holy crap! 2007. <laughs> I was dating my wife at the time. I can't believe that I was actually. It was that long ago. But uh, yeah, I wasn't. Uh, Holy crap! Oh, I was no, I was. This was uh, around the time when I was fully engrossed in uh, PlayStation 2. Yep. No. Play. Right. Is this uh? This is not a. Uh, what do you call it? Level? Is it? Super Mario Sunshine. No. Not, well, this no. This is definitely not Mario Sunshine. But no. Is this a? Uh, I wish I would have changed my cart now that I look at it. But no, is this a, this a level you can do on uh, Mario Kart 8 as a, as a or Mario Wii? Did you, ever, did you ever play Mario Kart Wii? No, I didn't know they had Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, no. I had that game. I really enjoy. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And a lot of the throwback levels are uh, reminds me of. Watch out for that. Yep. Did that get you? Yep, it got me. Yeah, That's right. Okay. Little shrapnel. Oh, you're the one in front. Of you. I am now, yeah. I, I almost shot you. You gotta start looking around. Back on second place, huh? That's it. That's all right. But I didn't, uh, I didn't own a GameCube when it, when it was out. I don't know. I just never, it never appealed to me. I think now that I've gotten into uh, like the actual history and collection of, uh, or the collecting aspect of, on paper, video games. One hundred percent. The GameCube was actually supposed to be. Uh, more powerful, I was, I've been told now, this is not me being a professional, but I was told it was comparable to a lot of the systems that were out at the time, the PlayStation 2 and the, uh... No, it was, it, it, it's in the same generation. What what the issue is, is that, I mean, there's lots of debate on the internet about what, uh... I won. Uh, second hey, place back. again. What is it, two, twelve, two, two seconds behind... I think I should have picked some lighter people. Baby Wario is giving you some. All right. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been told because I, I have a guy who I work with who is super into Nintendo stuff, and I keep telling him, I'm like, well, I think the GameCube was the worst Nintendo system they ever came out with. Uh, I mean, we, we we could debate all day, all day and all night. I don't think that you've got it. But yeah, I can't. I don't have enough. Uh, information I've never really played one, so I can't really say that. I but, um, I can't, I I can't argue. A lot of their biggest games that I did not play that people are in love with came out on the system. Uh, Super Mario Melee. Uh, right, that, uh, the Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers Melee is big on this system. You know, I I never got into Smash Brothers. I I think it's I think it's beyond my my scope. Kind of like Pokemon. Like I don't. I can't get wow, into that oh stuff. Crap, this, this thing's pretty cool. <laughs> what is that? What do you got? Yeah, Tell me, Chomp. There you go. There's lots, of, lots of cool stuff to do in this, and you can see that if you did, you look uh, that there are sometimes there are sometimes two cubes stuck together. Yeah. That means both of your guys can get stuff. Take that. Thank you. And take that. All right. From a strong. There we go. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Watch out. Look at me. Look at you. Oh, I am... I am struggling with this. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, that's right. You can drift. Got her. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been drifting the daylight type of stuff. I guess I should pay more attention to... I forgot. Oh. Somebody who wasn't us. Somebody who's oh, probably in last place. Weird chill. There we go. I, you know, that's the thing. As someone who's now collecting this stuff, I, I much more think that the GameCube 
Um, is a, maybe I don't. I want to say ahead of its time because that that's kind of s selling it. But it it was definitely not where it was supposed to be in the lineup, and I think Nintendo did a lot of poor decision making as far as rolling it out, especially with the mini discs and I think PlayStation having the ability to I don't know play DVDs. Yeah, that uh, that system there. Is. That really that's really what sold it. Third place. Guy in front of me. Well, don't uh, speed up. Speed up into this. There's lots of stuff going on. There's really. I'm gonna drop down to fourth. I think. Yeah. Hold it off. All right. Place again. I. Fourth. I will say, yeah, I could. Agree, I could agree with the idea that it came out uh, ahead of its time. It's kind of like the Dreamcast in the sense of the Dreamcast should have sold amazingly. The games were super amazing. It just came out at the wrong time. And people just completely missed it. Yeah, no, I agree. The, and I think more along the lines these days, people are looking at the GameCube as being. Uh, I think this might be the final, the final one. Yeah. Uh, plus, uh, Nintendo tends to be a younger. Uh, person's system. Well, the fact that they made it into a giant cube and ma made it look like a toy uh, didn't help either. But uh, if, say, your older brother's playing one system, oh, wrong one, playing one system, and you see him playing all these cool games, you're going to want to play the system he's playing. So you're going to totally ignore what Nintendo's doing. Right, no, for sure. But, well, this is where Nintendo lost out as being a, a, gamer's, a gamer's console. Like, as far as power and superiority, because this was also around the time of uh, first-person shooters officially became a thing. Right. This one's a level in Super Mario Party. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Uh, 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 no, I got sucked into the sand. Where am I now? Fifth place. Here we go. I don't do enough. Uh, I don't do enough power switch in here. There we go. Get me out of the quicksand. Here we go. That's what we gotta do. <sighs> Good. There we go. Yeah, it just it came out around the time of, you know, PlayStation 2 was is a DVD player and a uh, gaming system. No, that, it was... And it just it also played CDs. Which, uh, and, I, and PlayStation 1 games. Yeah. Couldn't you also play DVD, not DVDs, but CDs or something in the GameCube, but you had to have a special attachment? Nope, never could do anything with that. It was only, well, you know what? Oh boy, oh boy, yeah. yeah. You no, know, it's only aftermarket, it's only aftermarket parts can do that. Where am I? Where am I going? Only, a, you, you gotta buy aftermarket, uh, cases and mods to, uh, be able to do that to uh, play CDs and DVDs and stuff like that. And, uh, it's nope, it's... There go. Nintendo decided to go with that route instead of the cartridges on the N64, and then they went with this whole this whole deal. First, man, nope, I think I'm going to end up in second place for overall today. And I really thought I was good at this game. Or so. But you know what, though, you are you as you said, you are no slouch to the to the Mario Kart universe. It's just it's just a different version, whatever flavor you want to play. Now I remember speaking back to the Wii version of it. I do remember now why I didn't play it much because it you had to use the Wii controller, and I didn't much care for the steering wheel thing. And you know, I like that aspect it, because you you kind of didn't get... have to do it that way, but I was introduced to it that way, and I was like, ugh. That. No, I, I I like it. I like I like turning like that. You can do that on uh, the Wii U now, right? Can't you? Yeah, but uh, I you can. Well, you I can. It off but you but you can. Yeah. It is an option to steer with the the Wii U pad. There we go. One again. So, oh, second place. I will take second place overall. Wow, and a look at this. Still going. Yeah, Dominated. Yes, you were ten seconds ahead, and I was second place. That's a pretty good. That's a, that's what I can say about it. Like I will say this. Domination. I guess I shouldn't have uh, blown it off so quickly, but it's not horrible. 
No, I think that if you were to go to the secondhand store and pick up a pick up a GameCube, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. Most of the game, most of the exclusive games are so-so. Where are we heading now? That inner controller always perplexed me. That was the end. Well, there you go. That's a little introduction to the Mushroom Cup. And plus, that, yes, this is why I did not enjoy this game. This was Super Mario Sun Sunshine. Right. And uh, it was, to me, I would equate it to Super Mario Brothers 2, at least the one that was here. It was completely. It, it was a game that, as if they completely just stuck the Mario Brothers into it, and it had no reason to be there because these other characters you never see them again. Uh, no, just in one-offs, and they're they are in the uh, they are in the Mario Kart universe and uh, stuff like that. So, who, who is this? That's me. Oh. In. There you go. Just like uh, just like an arcade arcade game. But it's just it, it could have been anybody in those games, and it just it didn't really always bug me. But I Super Mario Brothers, uh, Super Mario 64 is still within the same universe, kind of. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, not so much. Super Mario Land or World, the one with uh, the Super Nintendo. Right. Uh, still kept within the same world. Uh, and the new Super Mario Brothers, the one for the Wii and the Wii U, uh, also kind of sticks within that same universe. Uh, I will say this, I've never played Super Mario 3D, so those I've never messed with. Oh, yeah. So. Well, there you the go. Whole, not bad. There you go. Mario Kart Double Dash. I mean, I've played it a few times. I don't own this game, but... Well, I, I do. That's why I'm playing it. But this game is... It's pretty fun. I enjoy it. You should go check it out. Definitely get your your uh, GameCube together and uh, check it out, guys. Have a good evening.